Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to Fashion Victuals Radio right here on RipRadioNetwork.com. Happy Hump Wednesday, everybody. And to my right is Mr. A.D. What's himself. up? It is that hump day. Oh, you tell it. It feels yes. like a hump day. No, we over the hump. I come in. You got low energy. Brian got low energy. I'm like, what's going on? But guess what? It's your boy is live. Yes, you are. He is full are. of energy. Shit. And, and you, you know got me, what? You gave me some of your energy and juice. you know what? <laughs> All Thank positivity. You, I'm spreading positivity out there in the Amen. world, out Amen. on the radio. Everybody who's listening and watching, what's up? What's going on? How's your week going? My week. You know what? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Yeah, this is my my last full week in my office, and you know, yes, you know, it's bittersweet for the people there. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm not sad. I'm actually, I'm actually excited and. The people who I talk to, I talk to anyway. I'm going to continue to right. speak with, you know. So I'm like, I'm, you know, going to miss them. We still going to talk. But other than that, I'm, I'm happy, man. All this stuff going on. In the, I know. And I'm in this, you know, where I work. <laughs> like and, I <laughs> and everybody, AD is taking a sabbatical. So his last week is next Wednesday. Yes, next Wednesday. Yes. He is taking a six-month sabbatical from us. And I'm. Yeah. Truly sad. I am sad because you know what? I actually look forward to this, especially once I get here through the traffic. Yeah, like uh, I look <laughs> <laughs> through the like, traffic. Of course. No, I look. This is so much fun. You remember my first time? I was so nervous. Yes, you were. But you know, now look at you. Ain't, ain't none of the liquid courage can't help me through. <laughs> <laughs> no, that to was that. No, that was all God. I'm just. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? I am going to miss. I love being on the radio, but unfortunately, I have to be, you know, during the week, I have to be a, about mm-hmm. two hours away. So, and it for six months. For six months. That's yeah. why I say you're taking a six month sabbatical. If that means your ass is coming back, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, I will be back. This, I love doing this. It's so much fun. <laughs> you know, long, you know. My my new job allows me to, you know, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's true. Crazy. You know, we'll see. I'm excited time, for you. You know, I love the color on your hands too. You look like the Tiffany blue. Yeah, that's what I'm it look like. I already made my appointment. Thank you, because I know you're going to say. Oh, I wasn't. Okay. No, it looks good. I like it. Oh, good, because I, I know a, they need to be. Done. I wasn't gonna make a negative comment about it on <laughs> the air. <laughs> What's going on? Your wait, wait, how's your week going, T? Crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It's just been crazy. So. Okay, let's t- yeah, share with the world. What, why Remember, you like, a couple shows ago, I told y'all I did a purge. Of of blocking people in your yes. phone. Yes. Yes. That's what I call purge, Brian. I call it the purge. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, remember, I remember that purge. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, qu- qu- well, I didn't quite block everybody because some people's numbers I did not have in wait, my wait, phone. Wait, 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 Brian, did you hear that? She said she didn't quite. She knew who she was blocking and who no. she wasn't blocking now. The thing is, if you don't have the person's number in your phone, you can't detect them. And okay. if they're not okay, in your text true. message profile, you can't detect them. So this is an old But bit. I mean old. This is 10 years. Oh, and they back. Mm-hmm. All right. Weave their but, way but, but through. But why are you stressing about it? I'm not really stressing. I'm not honestly. I'm not stressing. I'm just kind of curious. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I've known him for 10 years, we hadn't talked in over two years. Okay. So it's like, what's up? Like, where is this going? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I already tell I already tell people now, <laughs> don't waste my time. And I say that up front. So if you do waste my time, then don't be mad when you can't get a hold of me the following true, week after true, true, true. you've wasted my time. So. Okay. But that's what's going on. Okay. So. What are we? What's the topics today, T? Let's talk well, about. Well, let's talk to let's Mr. Talk about, Super Producer Brian because he got all that on lockdown. We want to know. I know we got some Kylie news. We got some stuff going on today. I'm excited. There's what's a lot going, going on. on? Uh, it's kind of sore. All right. <laughs> uh-uh, Brian, I'm gonna need you to up that energy up. Brian, you're not a notches. drinker, but you know you can always like you know. Why don't we watch ourselves? Can't we watch ourselves? Oh, well, actually, you know, um, the Roku only has. Actually, I couldn't watch ourselves because because um, it doesn't have us. So, but yeah, if you're on uh-huh. Roku, uh, wait for the new show coming up uh, later. Um, but also on YouTube uh-huh. and other places. But anyway, um, yes. today mm-hmm. it's about hustling. 
Maybe that's why I'm tired. Every day I'm yes. hustling, hustling, hustling. Yo, hustling, let me tell hustling, you. Hustling. If, listen, if you don't have a hustle story. Who? You tell him. If you don't have, I'm serious. If you don't have a hustle man, story. Man, the grind don't stop. You know what? You ain't going to make it, man. Shh. I'm telling you now. I don't even want to date nobody who don't though? hustle. You know what's funny, though? You Like, people that are from the city or whatever always got to hustle, always got to grind. They always on the move. Like, people down south, and not to say everybody, but a lot right. of people down south, they're just like, you know, they have this lifestyle where it's like, as long as I get this good job and I can make this amount of money and I can get my nice house and my white picket fence and my two and a half um, Wait a minute. kids, family. You, you know? are not going to put that on the southern folk. No, I said not. I didn't say all. I uh -oh. said some, not but, but all. Don't just say city folk, because I know a lot of city folk who done run across my phone. Now, let me tell you about the city folk. going on for right. themselves. You want to know what it is about the city folk? What's to that? To me, it ain't no hustle or they want this good career. It's they're fucking lazy. Yeah, and, and, see, and, 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 and a lot of them see how they can get over on you and what they yes, can get from you. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's talk about that. Who you Come know? from my southern folk. Because there's a lot of us up here who moved up here, got our education, and we working hard, and we hustling. You hustling. Right. Shoot. But I'm saying, I didn't say <laughs> all. all. I said some. Okay. Some, not some. all. But you did label us. Right. You did. You labeled us. You said southern. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, I've come. I've dated southern men. So okay, and I you've mean, also dated East Coast city boys. Yeah, who you tell Right. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much, yeah, that. That's the whole that's the theme of it because um, the main question is: Is it now considered? Is it still considered wrong? Because you know, back in the day when we were younger and our parents were here, like, oh, that's just a hustler, and and you know, they deemed them as like criminals and stuff like dope that. boys. Yeah. So but now it's kind of like, oh, you're working. You're like you just said, you're yeah. grinding, right. you're getting your hustle on and all that stuff. So, but. Still, some people kind of mix the two, right? At, especially after the movie Hustlers with uh, Jennifer Lopez, Constant You, and our special guest when she comes in. Absolutely, Miss Stormy, Stormy, Stormy Maya. Yeah. So, so we're gonna talk about just mainly about the movie, but also her in general because you wouldn't believe this girl is legitimately hustling. She I mean, is. She's she got is. A lot her of stuff going. Her Instagram her. profile is very lit. Yeah. She got everything she's going. Got, on. She got multiple everything. Instagram uh, yeah, profiles. Yeah, she does. So. No, and that's like, that's what's up though. Yeah. And, my, and my thing is, it's just like when you see, you know, people came down on, you know, Chris Jenner, you know, for using. They said she was using her daughters, and but that was a hustle. She got, no, you know yo, what? And, and look, and look, where what? and look where that hustle got something. her and her family. The thing is, let me tell you something about Chris Jenner. She ain't just a hustler. She a pimp. <laughs> she is a star. See, that's, 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 you want to know why she a pimp? She didn't hustle so much that she didn't put every one of her kids in place that she can pimp them out. Let's be clear: True. to pimp them out to cause publicity towards themselves and get that money. She pimps them because that's now she ain't got to do shit. All she got to do is make money off of their stupidity. True, true. Well, I don't know if it's stupidity. I think everything. Some of that stuff I th is no, I think everything that they do. It's very Absolutely. calculated. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's very. I don't think it's stupid. It's very calculated. Calculated. Everything that's they what do. The pimp and you know what it them. is, and everything it do, it makes money. Because the pimp Cause taught you know, them. Because you know, you know what happened now. Her and um, the guy just broke up. Um, her and um, Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis yeah. Scott and with Kylie, right? Yeah. Just broke up. You wanna know why they broke they took up? A break. They're taking a break. They shit. They got a kid together. Ain't no breaks. They gonna see each other regardless. Is you know what it is? Uh, Kylie is what? She's almost a billionaire, or is she yeah, a billionaire? She's, she's. I don't care about that BS. This is about her but, billionaire, bogus billionaire status. Anyway, but but mind you, in fast fiction news, there's, there's a story about Kylie, and maybe her hustling game got her got her bit jacked up. I mean, we talked up. about it last time because yeah. she was in hot water with uh Kylie. What's her name in Australia? No, can you say Minogue? Minogue. <laughs> I don't know that woman. Man, they, listen. I don't know that. Listen, y'all talking about hot water. That girl ain't on hot water. Hey, well, she, she might need it. She deep in, she deep in money. <laughs> Regardless of what you say, yeah, they right talking about, about it. After you hear this story. Okay. And then oh, also, okay. Also, there's uh, a little drama, you know, that someone says we're not going to take it anymore. Oh, shit. Okay. So. Okay. 
And let me go ahead and mention, I know this is so far-fetched from the conversation that we're having, but make sure that you all check out DC Group Food and Grooves, uh, October 23rd, am I not mistaken? What is it? 26. Thank you, Brian. October 26. Make sure you all check out Foods and Grooves in D.C. Again, these are from the creators of D.C. Broccoli Fest. If you have not been to Broccoli Fest, as my co-host uh, A.D. has, I mean, it's, it's lit. lit. Let me tell you. It's lit. Let me tell you. So, I'm looking for it. You know what? It's for me, it's like going to the park on a Sunday and you seeing people who look like you. They dressed up. They looking nice. They having a good time. Nothing but positive vibes. That's how Broccoli Fest was for me. Great music. Seeing people who look like me just having a good time. Good time. I love that. And that's what I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to DC Food and Grooves because I will be attending. So know, make uh, sure y'all get y'all tickets. Are we attending together? Because I'll come back no, down. We can't. This. Okay. Are, like you saying. No, I hold on. Pause. Because you, you just said you're coming back down. I'm going to be very emotional. The fact that you were already going to leave. You know what I'm saying? No, then you're coming back down. I need to come down for these the weekend events. I want to make. Okay. So October 26th. Okay. All right. Cool. 26th or 23rd? It's the 26th. Okay. 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 And I'm up. So it's down at Union Market. Union Market. Union Market. Everybody, if you're from the DMV, you know exactly where Union Market is. And if for those that don't know, it is in Washington, D.C. and Northeast. Again, D.C. Food and Grooves. And make sure you check it out. It is from the creators of the Broccoli Fest. Hey, we will be making an appearance. So if y'all see us out there, Absolutely. come up, I'm get a happy. pick. Say what's Taking up. Taking pictures. Don't I'm be shy. We're people, very, all we're that. very social people. We love very. people. Ask our people who come on the show. Ask the guests. Yes, I love. Man, you know what? <laughs> shout out to Shante Usual. You know she tagged. Uh, like shout out to her. She like, is awesome. Sauce. She is awesome. And I, you know, one thing I said, people wear a mask, and it was from her song that I really. Yep. You know, took that and I was just like, wow, people really do wear a mask because right. you have and no matter you meet somebody and they're presenting like you a know, mask in front, a of, mask in front of them. That, yeah. And then, you know, once you a few months, you pick that person apart. You like, oh, my God, what have I gotten myself into? One thing I will say about Shantae Usual is whatever she puts in her song is who she is as a person. I, yeah, like, I get that from her when I met her. Beautiful soul, yes. like a beautiful soul. All the way through and through. So shout out to Shantae Usual. Keep doing what you're doing, girl. Your music is amazing. And just yes. keep working. Keep yes. hustling. That's what Hey, you we sending love <laughs> and positivity to the West Coast. I am. The West Coast, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the best coast, but I'll shout out to the West. I do love the West Coast, though. I'll be over there more often with this new job. So, you know, you. we'll see. We'll see. All right, everybody. When we come back, we're going to get right into Fashion Victual News right here on Fashion Victuals Radio on RipRadioNetwork.com. With the Afro puffs, you ain't lady of rage, rocking rough and stuff. It's okay, they don't think I'm black enough to have my hair fluff and puff like I don't give a fuck. Uh, no explaining my heritage, get it through your cartilage. I'm black and marvelous, haters both black and white. Call me whack, it's funny when my own kind wanna attack. Crabs in the bucket, you'll get boiled with your blind fur hats when my naps are coiled. Don't question my race, get the fuck out my face. Brace me like them other niggas you embrace. Obama, first black man in office. Kaepernick, kneeling for black causes. Regardless, it's thoughtless to question me based on my percentage. We speak the same language, the language of oppression. I rock out with my Afro puff, with my fist held high, cause I'm black as fuck. It's not the color, cause we come in on shades, and our sisters rock puffs, braids and fades. I rock out with my Afro puffs, with my fist held high, cause I'm black as fuck. It's not the color, cause we come in on shades, and our sisters rock puffs, braids and fades. 65, can't believe we survived. We thrived on you and I, T.Y. Now you want to deny and apply. I ain't a sister. You better fall back. Worship me like Lord Krishna. Light skin versus dark skin stigmas. What's wrong with these niggas? Slave mentality, deep in us cavity. Negative charge like a fucked up battery. Rot in our minds, you hate your own kind. Divided and conquer, you see, but you're blind. I'm a rock my Afro puffs and be black as hell. Expel me from your club and your club will fail. 
bitch you on all fours. Burn that suck it down, shit, maybe the whole town. Don't oh, shut my black car, just cause I'm light brown. I rock out with my Afro puff, with my fist held high, cause I'm black as fuck. It's not the color, cause we come in on shades, and my sisters rock puffs, braids and fades. I rock out with my Afro puffs, with my fist held high, cause I'm black as fuck. It's not the color, cause we come in on shades, and my sisters rock puffs, braids and fades. Welcome back to Fashion Victuals Radio right here on RipRadioNetwork.com. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. So we were just discussing, um, before we jump into Fashion Victual News, we were just discussing Rihanna's Savage Fenty fashion show. Mm-hmm. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. If you're a Prime member, you it's free, okay? It's free because I know yeah, people yeah, are concerned about that because Amazon be trying to gouge people. Mm-hmm. But it's free. Just check out the show. It is a hell of an experience. Wow. Hell of an experience. I will be watching it tonight. Yes, definitely. It's going to go by like that. It's amazing. Okay, let's get into Fashion Victual News, Brian. Damn, I gotta get my, get, get my energy up. Hi, hi, hi. Get it up, Brian. You don't drink, <laughs> so you can't. Like, well, I'm already, this, I'm this, turned. This, this is what dragging me is, is Kylie, hearing about Kylie Jenner again and, and, her, and her BS. That's but, what's dragging you yeah, right now? she drags me a lot, so she drags me down. But anyway, this is about last week. Last week, Kylie Jenner, not Kylie Minogue, my girl, Kylie Minogue, <laughs> shout out. Anyway, Kylie Jenner made a huge announcement that sh- their cosmetic line that will be partnering up with Balmain. Ow! There we go, Balmain. Uh, I love Balmain. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do love Balmain. So yes, so they're supposed to be hooking up, and they were going to have a grand, a grand introduction of their collaboration. That's my boy Paris, Olivia. Paris, Paris Fashion Week, but days before the show, Uh-oh. Kylie fell ill and had to cancel her appearance last minute. So Aww. yeah, um, uh, Balmain crew were not feeling this though. Uh, the two parties were having have been working on this project for a year now. <laughs> got that Balmain dress. On. Yes, and to have, okay, what you say? You can say hate it. it. And to have it yeah, fall apart right? in the last minute, uh, an insider was stating this. They were devastated and begged her to reconsider, but she didn't. Meaning she was too sick to even come. Oh come wow! To. So anyway, she must be really sick though. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, yes. Um, she stayed home. Uh, the two parties are hoping that this will meet their financial expectations Aww. of this collaboration. So we'll see what happens. But as we know, Kylie's all better now because her and her man are break, taking a break. Man, yeah, they you, are. Man. Let me tell you, man. That's money. To say, hey, I'm not going to make it. I'm sick. Do people know the importance of Balmain, though? Olivia Ralston, like he's so young. And he kind of just flipped Balmain to this this empire that where it is now trust and believe that Balmain name been around for eons but the clothing and him being the creative director Mm -hmm. for Balmain oh my god Mm -hmm. oh my god remember when they had the H&M line oh Oh, yeah and it sold sold out out in minutes minutes people lined up all around the world for that yes and now it's like oh Okay, well, Kylie, I hope you feel better since you broke up with your man. I hope you all right. So. Hey, Kylie gonna get another. <laughs> Kylie gonna get another black man. Yeah, that's all they do. That's all they <laughs> Mothers, do. Mothers hide your sons, hide your kids, hide your husbands. Shit, you ain't never lied. For some reason, especially if they, especially if they rappers, basketball players, or football players. <laughs> men with clout, black men with clout, <laughs> with a coin. Right? Okay. Shoot. Only one who isn't like that is Courtney. She the only one. That's true. Yeah. She the only one. She's the only one. What? That ain't been with a black man. <laughs> Her? Courtney hasn't she, been with a black in man. Past. No, in the past she has. Uh, Courtney? No, she been with Scott the whole time. No, 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 no. Before that, before Scott. Mm-hmm. Before Scott? 
No, I think she's been Scott majority of the time. Yeah, because they got three kids together. Hey, she like I said, she's the unicorn in the family. <laughs> she is the unicorn in the family. All right, Brian, what's the next thing we got on the list here? All right, so keeping this sort of the hustler theme, and this is in relation to every day I'm hustling, yeah. hustling, uh, hustling. But there's hustling. also some haterade. So anyway, last week the NFL announced that. Jennifer Lopez and Shakira will be co-headlining no. the Super Bowl no. before halftime no, show. No, absolutely wait, who, freaking wait, wait, not. Who? No. No. Are you what? serious? Yes, this is official. <sighs> you, 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 were, you, were, you didn't even see that? The Super Bowl is real. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, thought, I thought you were supporting this. Okay. Well, Don't get me wrong. No, no. Here, 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 here's the story. Let, Let me hear this. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, there were uh, some rumors flying around that uh, J-Lo wanted, wanted or should have been the solo headliner, but both ladies squashed that right from the start. But there is one sister, right now it's you, but <laughs> who feels that both ladies sh shouldn't be doing this at all. That particular sister is Dean S Dee Snyder, the lead singer of the 80s metal group Twisted Sister. Uh, he went on a Twitter rant, uh, oh, blasting this. Uh, my point about this year's half NFL halftime show isn't a slight on Shakira or J Lo. It's a frustration that week after week, rock rock music is the go-to music during games, but gets no respect when it comes to the Super Bowl. He finishes, and I don't think I'm popular enough for it for that slot. But Metallica. Let me tell you this. Hold on. <laughs> There's some more. There's some more. Now, there there have been well-known hard rock groups. Now, this is Twisted D. Snyder back in the heyday. is Twisted Sister. Uh, but there have been known hard rock groups who have performed in uh, the Super Bowl halftime yeah. show. Unfortunately, there have been no metal acts. That is true. But J-Lo and Shakira will be the first Latin act since when? Now here's the thing. I'm gonna leave this question to you two. Who do you remember the last Latin act to ever perform on Super Bowl halftime show? Has there even been any Latin? Was it I don't Enrique think. Iglesias? Mm -hmm. Oh no, uh, what's his name? Um and Living La Vida Loca. Oh. Wasn't it him? I know what it is. Living La Vida Loca. What's his name? <laughs> um, Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. There you go. It was Ricky Martin. Right? Yep. Uh well, actually no. No. Um, do you think? What do you think? I don't think that there ain't been any. Like, all right. Well, the last Latin act to ever perform at the uh, Super Bowl halftime show was Enrique Iglesias. I was See, saying he that. Was right. I said he was Enrique. right. Twenty years. No, you said Ricky Martin. But I said at first. I said but Enrique first, Iglesias. First, he said Ricky. Yeah. Enrique. Yeah. Okay. But it was twenty years ago. Jeez. Twenty years ago at Super Bowl. I can be 34. your hero, baby. <laughs> But there's nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong with J Lo and Shakira. Like they're huge, they're huge. Shakira's but still huge. She I know is. J Lo is. She still well, has Shakira a huge had a, had a, following. Had a break, so yeah, she has a huge following. She does. Oh, okay. So I don't, ain't nothing wrong. Shout out to that because hey, the Latino Bravo. community. So, but, but I want to hear about. <laughs> you want to see Beyonce? I hear this, hey, this, no, hey. I'm good. No, 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 no. I heard a lot. Of, there was some like increasing. No, hate. like for real, for real. I love. I like J Lo. Don't get me wrong. I like J Lo. That's my fellow Leo. Shout out to J Lo. However, I know Shakira ain't been on the scene in a long time. But, and J-Lo been getting that bank. Like, she doing residencies and she on tour and she doing movies still. Like, Shakira been crickets. When was the last time you heard anything from Shakira? Well, she had a baby. But she, that's, she's, but that's she's, why. Yeah. J-Lo had twins. But that's why, first of all, J-Lo was on her way out the I door. Mean, so that's why they're really? combining both of them together. Why you say Jayla all the way out the door? She because like Janet you don't Jackson. Wanna, you don't She's still see sexy. No, but you still don't want to see no 50-year-old half naked up there. I would after I saw Hustlers. You see her body? I see it, but I'm like, Shit, okay. I hope I look that good when I'm 50. But you ain't going to be on the TV twerking. <laughs> shade! The shade! And so where did the shade go? <laughs> Ryan, where did the shade go? Because it wasn't from me. <laughs> you said it. You said it. I love J Lo. Shout out to J Lo. Shout out to J Lo. Jenny from the block. <laughs> She's still be Bronx. fooled by the rocks then again. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still Jenny, Jenny from the block. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think 
about it. Mind you, keep in mind, the Super Bowl is, is going to be in Miami, so there's going to be a majority of the oh, crowd. Oh, so okay. I, mean, I, I might have mind, to do I that see, one. see that. Now, That's going to be a good turn-up gonna, weekend. Uh, I'm going to say this for D. Snyder and the rest of the Heavy Metal group. Let's be honest. Heavy Metal is not for everybody. Agreed. Right? Okay. And I understand that him, you know, they, hey, they play the music and, you know, just amp them up and all that stuff, but... I mean, keep in mind, you do see a lot of players being on their own headphones, you know, yeah. prepping up for their own games. So they listen to their own stuff. So it technically, mind you, it's not for everyone. We've, had, we've seen country music, and still people enjoy seeing that. We've seen, um, again, other Latin acts. Gloria Stefan performed. Uh, we had, uh, I believe, Ricky Martin, of course. And... Living La Vida Loca. <laughs> things like that. So a lot of people, you know, like that type of heavy metal, it's attracted to a certain particular crowd. And I'm sorry. I will turn the TV <laughs> if they put on some. I don't want to hear no ah, all that rock and roll. It depends on who it is. No, it does not. See, who? Like, what? I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's not. I'm sorry. I that's love not, Red that's Hot Chili Peppers. Not it's not heavy metal. No, that's no. what I'm saying. I say heavy metal, T. Yeah. You can't um, name a song from a heavy, heavy metal group. I can. Unfortunately, what? Who? It's not from ones that's recent. I can tell you. What well, I love rock and roll. <laughs> what you gonna say? <laughs> and I want you to say the lyrics. Um. Oh, what is that band? They See, had a exactly. No, they exactly. had a mu- They had a but, movie on um Netflix. The Runaways. No, the who? Talking about. But the whole Brian. The, the whole my whole point is she. Machine Gun Kelly was in the movie. Brian, my whole point he is played, she can't name him. He played Tommy Lee. Man, she don't want to. Sh- there you go, Martin. She Kruger. didn't know that. She did not know that. That's what I'm but saying. But I gave enough history to know what it is. You still don't know that. You don't know the words to their song because you know what? The words you don't even can't even. You gotta look them up. <laughs> you don't have to look up the lyrics. Like, stop playing with me. You don't want to hear. Who wants to hear? No, it? it's not. It's not something that somebody wants to hear. No, not, even the NFL audience. They're going now. They'll settle for country, but heavy metal. Definitely country. Well, I say the closest heavy metal group they, that they had on there was Aerosmith. That's Aerosmith, like the closest. But I can. Mess- but they were more so, more, 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 so the, more so the hard rock than See? the you know, so- this way. So <laughs> exactly. So, but I mean, mind you, I I, I occasionally listen to heavy metal, and, and again, it's not for everybody. So, but it's anyway. not. It's not. I agree. It's not. But that is fast for this all righty. God, that news over with because I ain't like that heavy <laughs> metal mess. Are we? Um, are she? She's just, we're still waiting. She's she's on the road somewhere. But all right, okay. cool. Take a break when we talk about every day i'm hustling hey hustling, hey hustling, if you hustling, ain't hustling every day you still i'm out hustling there struggling, you better every get off my couch hustling. everybody hey. yes we'll be back right here fashion victuals radio right here on rip radio network.com You better have thick skin in these days and time So many fall victim to the fake still lie But in every bit of hate, there might still be a fan Who follows every post and retweets them again You better have thick skin in these days and time So many fall victim to the fake still lie But in every bit of hate, there might still be a fan Who follows every post and retweets them again Assumptions used to push my buttons Made of rumors, had no substance They spread that shit with arrogance
above you just like doves do. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck are they? Don't let that shit wait on your mind all day. I see girls dying over cyber bullies. Keyboard warriors are real pussies. Don't take your life over a cellular device. Vice, you better think twice. You better recognize they just parasites. Eating at your head like some damn lights. The infection spreads. Now you wanna be dead? Rub off that shit, confront that shit instead. Don't you have skin? Thicken it before trying to take your life by ending it. You better have thick skin in these days and time. So many fall victim to the fake still lie. But in every bit of hate, there might still be a fan who follows every post and retweets them again. You better have thick skin in these days and time. So many fall victim to the fake still lie. But in every bit of hate, there might still be a fan who follows every post and retweets them again. Y'all coming out to the, to the park tomorrow. Come out to the park. Yeah, come to the park. Come to the park. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fashion Visuals Radio right here on RipRadioNetwork.com. Let's get into this topic for the evening before we talk to Miss Stormy Maya. We are going to get into the topic of hustling. Brian, that's why you cue the music. You're supposed to be cute. Every, Every day, day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Hey, hustling, hey, hustling, hey. hustling. First of all, Rick Ross <laughs> is like my future baby daddy. I love Rick Ross. I don't know why. I Rick love, I love Ross? Rick Ross. I love Are you just saying that since he lost all that weight? No, I was saying that when his ass was fat, too. You just love some Rick Ross, huh? Yes. It's that southern thing. It's, of, that, it's that swag. Southern, it's that southern that swag, swag that he, she was talking about earlier, oh. y'all. She was talking about a southern man you earlier. Know what? Now look because at it. Rick Ross carried himself like a boss from day one. I love Rick Ross. Man, the southern, the south got a lot of bosses. What's up? What's up? Yeah, but they. Hey, stand up, all oh, you southern up. boys. We southern boys. We run this mug. What's up? Yeah, there's some that ain't as confident in themselves though. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've come across those, and it's like, my dude, come on. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm too much for you I'm so t yes like you a hustler you got your own business mm -hmm. you work i do a monday through friday job yep. you do the radio thing I you do. have a lot going on oh she's here stormy stormy we got stormy on the radio y'all hey miss stormy maya hi stormy maya how are you Great, I'm sorry, I'm like on the road right now. I'm like, I've literally been traveling to a different state every like day. So I'm like, sorry, I've been like on the road and got crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Stormy Maya to Fashion Victuals Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello everybody. Thanks Congratulations on your success with the Hustlers movie. Thank you. <laughs> How was your experience doing that movie? Um, it was great. Um, uh, basically, just being around a lot of successful people was really refreshing. You know, it's great to be around artists, and it's great to be around people who are talented. But to be around people who are successful in that is even more refreshing because the energy that comes with it is just so positive because everyone's awesome. just so happy to be doing what they're doing. And um, it's just great. I really enjoyed it. That's awesome. How long were you in the studio when you were doing the making of the movie? Um, I filmed for the whole month of April, pretty much. So I filmed for uh, about four weeks, and it was it was pretty wow. intense because you know they filmed that whole movie in like a month. So Dang, everybody that's was just crazy. working really hard, and yeah, I was there like every step of the way as well. That's awesome. So we were sitting in the studio listening to some of your music, and I'm like, before she even started, before you even started rapping, I was like, oh, okay, she about to sing. And I'm like, no, she's a rapper. That's, like, awesome. <laughs> when, how long you been rapping? Yeah. Um, for music, I'm actually new. I've only been doing music since January. What? Oh, really? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm uh, very new in music, and um, I – actually got approached by my manager, Donald, um, also a.k.a. Megadon. He came to me about 
October last year, and, mm-hmm. you know, he talked to me about it. And I was like, no, I've always actually wanted to get into it, but I never knew how to. And, you know, I released my first EP in January, and now I'm working on another EP. Um, I just did a collab with Chris Rivers and Afro and this uh, female rapper named Alicia Goku. And so I've been doing a lot of collabs, and, like, we've been working on an album. And so yeah, I'm very new, but I'm actually very active at the moment. So you I don't waste like any it. time. You hustling. You are really on the move. She is hustling. Yes. So what do you like yes. more? Do you like acting more or rapping more? I don't really compare things like that. I don't really compare what I like more because it, it, to me it's like, you know, counterproductive because they both are a part of me and they both help each other. So I kind of I kind of see it as like, you know, one thing. Like I just do different types of art and it just all kind of crosses over. Um, I enjoy like different parts of all of it. You know, the acting is like my first love because that's what I've always wanted to do. And, you know, it has its own benefits and the fun in it. But music is like the true me, you know, because music is myself playing myself, telling the truth from myself and acting is me playing a character. So they both have their, their pros and cons. Awesome. Now, how long have you been acting? I've been acting since 2016 professionally. Prior to that, I had did, um, you know, some theater stuff, and I had did some other smaller things. But professionally, like getting paid and doing it on a bigger scale was since 2016. Gotcha. Stormy, your career is just taking off. Oh, my God. Like, it's moving fast. Like, I was looking at all your work, and, like, for you just to be coming into the music scene, you are, you are, you've like. You've been busy. Yeah, you've been busy. <laughs> and you in New York, which, that's that's what New York is. Like, it's the hustle and bustle. Like, things are moving 100 miles per hour. Yeah, definitely. Um, but that's, that's my personality. I've always been like that. I've been in the industry since I was 16 and I started oh, wow. off modeling I was a playboy model got into acting got into you know music now and do photography I just do so many different things in the art world and I'm always just working and having fun with everything and I see basically everything as a brand so the brand of mm-hmm. Stormy Maya yep. and what I represent and yep. you know I'm always just adding new things to that Hi, Stormy. Uh, this is Brian. I've been the producer of the show. I'm in, in contact with you. Um, I've been following a list of what you've been doing, and you have like multiple accounts. I'm going to list some of them. If you want to add on, we can. <laughs> so we've seen you model, act, been a rapper. You've written your movie. You do photography right now. You produced your movie. You directed your movie. Is there anything we need to add on to this list? <laughs> I just do everything, you know, because especially in the industry nowadays, you just kind of like wear so many hats in order to make it and be afloat. Because every day, like people hit me up like, oh, I'm an actress. I mean, I'm a model. I'm this, but I can't pay my bills or I can't do it full time or consistently. And I, this is my thing. I'm like, you got to do different lanes. Like, this is how you're going to always be active. This is how you're always going to uh, move up because by doing music, it pushes the acting up more. By doing acting, it pushes the music up more. Like everything yeah. elevates everything because the more active you are, the more things you do, the more relevant you're going to stay and the more um, you're going to be able to spread out to different people and different audiences. So I just do it. You know, I mean, it's just my personality type and everyone can do it, but it works for me. <laughs> but I, I do everything, I guess. I don't really see it like that, though. Now, do you feel that you are stretching yourself a bit too thin? I mean, even though you got everyone, oh, everyone has this energy in the beginning, but do you feel like there's gotta be a moment in time where I say, I need to take a time out? Um, I don't think that has anything to do with doing multiple things. It has to do just with any lo- workload. You can work a nine to five and be working every single day. And it's, you know, 50, 60 hours and wear yourself thin. I think it just has to do about time management. And so I have good time management and I have, I'm good at organizing and I'm good at, um, you know, spreading my things out evenly so that it works well and so that it's not, um, you know, it doesn't get overwhelming. So, you know, I don't ever wear myself out thin, and I have a good time with everything that I do. And I'm in control of everything I do. So I'm not, like, working for anyone. I do things around my schedule, around what I want to do. So yes. it works out pretty well, and, you know, I just have a good time. <laughs> now, Stormy, I love your look. You are very Afrocentric, and you're very eclectic. So what brought up on this look for your brand? Um, like an intentional thing, you know, like everyone's 
kind of thinks it was. It was like I, for years, you know, like a lot of black women grew up not liking my hair. And, um, you know, it just, it just wasn't even something I thought about. It just like, you, you know, you just didn't wear your hair a certain way. You got it straightened, you got it relaxed, and it was cool. And, um, you know, I had for years, especially with modeling, I had like certain looks. Like I had to straighten it, wear weaves, wigs, blonde, different colors. And, um, you know, I, like, I actually had really damaged my hair from bleaching it for so many years and putting heat on it. Mm-hmm. So I ended up like shaving it. And I actually never had intentions of growing out my hair wearing an afro. I never had those intentions. But once my hair started growing out, um, I had made a decision. I was like, you know what? I'm going to like just rock with it and let it grow. And I had decided to like, just embrace it. And I was like, you know what? I'm so sick and tired of like constantly having to cut my hair and regrow it. And you know, everyone has this mentality of like, oh, yeah, whatever. Just straighten it and you know, grow it back again. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm going to just love it and embrace it and, and rock it. And um, I've always been Afrocentric. You know, a lot of times people will be like, oh, you had the blonde hair before and straight hair before. And they'll kind of associate that with like not being pro-black or not being uh, proud of your heritage and all that. But that's not actually not true. It's just that now my external matches my internal. But I'm glad that my image now can help other black women and women yes. of color to have yes. our hair textures embrace yes. it. And I'm happy about that. So the fact that it's... It, it helped me, but I also help these other women along the way. It's great. I'm like, I'm glad it's empowering. I'm glad that it makes people feel good about themselves. And I'm glad that yes. I can bring big, sexy afros to the big screen like Hustlers and she's got to have it and make it sexy and make it something women want to wear, you know? Yes. Awesome. I know this. So I have a Stormy. So who surprised you the most on set? Who were you most like, oh my gosh, I did not know they were going to be this cool or this amazing who was that person? Well, I don't really think of people that way. And maybe it's because, like, I'm not new to the industry, you know? Like, I've been in it since I was 16 years old. Like, I've met celebrities throughout the years. So right. I never really looked at people like that. I've never been like, oh, my God, you know? I don't get starstruck or anything. Like, I'm, you know, I see people like people. Like, I respect what they do. Right. And I'm like, wow, well, I, I, I admire what you do, but I don't look at them like that. But um, J-Lo is very down to earth. She's very cool. And um, I guess I'd be the most shocking because of course you know she's seen as this big diva she's symbol huge, and she's right. seen as this big icon right yeah so she's very humble she's right down to earth we had a lot of girl talks she when the cameras are off me her kiki lily uh the other girls were all just talking chatting go goofing off like regular girls do and you know that's about it oh that's good to hear yes that's really good to hear i'm i'm so happy for you um what is Thank some you. what is some <laughs> of the best advice that you were given going into this industry I guess the best advice is to stay humble and because that really is, that sounds really cliche, but the truth is that most people get a big head before they even get into the real industry. Some people are in the fake industry or but and they get a big head. I think they're, you know, most people that I've met, they have even close to my amount of followers and success or whatever. They already think their shit don't think and they already think they're better than people and that attitude is really funky and you don't want to work with you because the real celebrities that I've met, the real people I've met, <laughs> they literally are the most humble people. And, and you know, and you know so, what, and you know what though, and and I can see that. And people have to remember; these celebrities have to remember. You are where you are because of your fans. The people watch you. People pay to listen to you. You, you know, you got to show love to those yes. people. You got to remain humble. That is true. Because you've seen yes. so many people who is at the very top fall. I, I agree. So I agree. Um, are you originally from New York or you're there for business? I'm sorry? Are you originally from New York? Um, New York and Boston. Okay. So you are an East Coast girl all the way. Now, another question I have. <laughs> when... Okay. When you saw, you, did you, when you went to the, I'm sure you went to the premiere of the Hustlers movie, when you saw yourself on camera, what was your, what was your reaction to seeing yourself in that movie? I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to sound like, like a, I don't know how, what the word is, but I mean, I've been in a lot of movies before, like a, you know, independent movies, of course, mm-hmm. smaller movies and other roles than TV shows. So it's not like it was like, a shock or anything i'm very humble in the sense of like i kind of just see like it's my job i enjoy doing it but i don't look at it in the sense of like oh my god you know i just i don't know who i am so 
I think when you're on set and you're working every day for 17 hours, when it actually comes out, you're not like shocked or surprised or anything. You're just like, oh, great. I'm so happy it finally came out. But I'm mm-hmm. happy to see it. But I'm not like, you know, oh, my God, you know. I'm not, <laughs> like, so proud, what is, you know, happy. But So what are some of the things that you do as a routine to prepare for like a video shoot or song or another show, theater, um, play or movie or a television show i mean just the basics just rehearsal and get some sleep nothing crazy you know it's like, <laughs> like a regular job you just take a shower and, <laughs> and, sleep and go to work same thing <laughs> Gotcha. Well, right. Stormy. Well, I have one more question for Sora Stormy because one, I'm I'm wearing your T-shirt that you promoted on your website. Uh, it's the one with the pineapples. Oh, well, thank you. So, um, secondly, though, uh, is the main question that we've been talking about is hustling and is it still considered wrong? Is it still considered a, like a dirty word? I know you, your character uh, Angel uh, was kind of. You know, I want to say conflicted mode. She, she sort of just went with the crowd. Uh, type of thing and mm-hmm. so it's like hey I'm going to get some money I'm going to get something out of this do you mm-hmm. in this day and age do you feel that the word hustler hustling is it is it considered wrong is it considered a dirty word no I never even knew anyone that thinks that I mean, hustling is I mean especially being from New York and stuff like that hustling means you're working hard it means you're doing mm-hmm. your thing I always use the word hustling I but agree. I've never I never seen it as a negative thing. I mean, I'm sure some people have used it like trying to hustle me. I guess it depends on the contents of the of the conversation. But in general, hustling is a good thing, you know. And I am a hustler. I work my ass off. I work every single day. I don't take any days do. off. And uh, even now, I'm like on the phone. You know, I mean, I'm working out. You know? <laughs> I know that's right. Promote I'm yourself. Always, I'm, I'm always hustling. I'm always hustling. So there's no there's no days off. And then, I think I'm a retired 30 years old as a millionaire, and I'm be chilling. So hey, yes. hustle the bad yes. thing. I don't want to be right. <laughs> Two snaps. <laughs> <laughs> so Stormy, what is some advice that you can give somebody who is up and coming in the game right now? Uh, advice? Yes. I, I guess advice I would give is um, be consistent because most people just don't follow through with things. Like if things don't work out the first month or the first two months, then they want to give up and quit. And move on to something else because recently I've had a lot of girls calling me complaining, telling me help me with my career. I tried social media for two months and nobody wants to follow me or uh, you know I did this and it didn't work and I'm like you gotta be consistent. You can't keep right. quitting because things don't work That's out great. for you or work smart and try to find another way to do it. But just giving up is corny. So the only thing is you gotta just gotta be a crybaby and keep doing your thing and stop expecting the world to give you stuff because it's not. Basically, get off your ass and hustle. <laughs> Get off your ass and I mean, hustle. Like, and hustle can you till you yeah. can't hustle no more. Hmm? I'm sorry? I said I said basically get off your ass and hustle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean facts, facts, exactly. Yeah. So, I'll be the cry baby and do it. So Stormy, give everybody your um pretty much your social media handles and where they can find you. Hey everybody, what's up? So you can find me Stormy Maya everywhere. Stormy spelled like Kylie Jenner's baby, who took that name from me. So it's S T O R M I Stormy Maya M A Y A, like Maya Angelou. So you can go and you can find me on Instagram four hundred and thirty seven K, or you can find me on OnlyFans dot com slash Stormy Maya. Go see me naked as shit because I need some money. And go see me on uh, YouTube Stormy Maya music. Stream my music on Spotify, Sunny me my, look at my song, Cannabis Cunt, Fake Ass City, Shut the Fuck Up, uh, Malfu, uh, Six Skin, Conscious Coochie, uh, go check out my songs, and um, yeah, get a, get a bitch me some bread, because I'm always making more and trying to stack up, so that's it. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you Girl, guys. I fucking love you, okay? Like, you are... You're amazing. So thank you so much, Stormy Maya, for calling in. We yes, appreciate it. You. And everybody, please check her out. Check out the movie, movie Hustler. Also, download her new album, and I mean, her new EP, because she is really working her ass off out here, for real. Thank you so yes, much, child. Stormy. Take care. All the thank best. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, she is like hey, she's she don't refreshing. Play, you, but you can tell that she hustling, right? What? We still live, right? Yes. Too. Okay, we so are. I say nothing crazy. I'm like, what do you mean say nothing crazy? Because I know you're about to cuss and say some stuff. You like you about to say I f I, with her. I do fuck with her. <laughs> <laughs> I, can on, I can cuss on my 
my show? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no. Yo, she is lit though. You can I tell. Her. I love her. You can True tell. New Yorker to her yo, heart. And, and yo, and her body is sick. She has an amazing body. I told you. I told you she got an amazing so, body. No. Miss Thang is out here hustling for real. Now, how many people can do you know got like 20 jobs and still keep it a positive attitude and stand humble at the same time? And she was awake. And you're right. <laughs> yo, she was I was like, I would have been tired. I was like, yo, you get to sleep. She just been hustling. You can tell, like, she in New York right now, like talking us on the phone. Working. Like, hey, shout out to her, her to her for taking a take, taking our call. Absolutely, thank you so much, Stormy Maya, for calling in. Y'all go see the hustle movie. She's Absolutely. in that mug, tearing it up. Go see Hustlers. Go download her EP. Check out all her social media handles. They will be on the website tomorrow morning. And yeah, like, she's doing it. Now, we got, what, two minutes left? All right. So, as far as hustling, let me ask you this. Uh-oh. Because we, since we're in the subject of hustling these days. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, how do you feel about certain people? Like, if you don't see them having an initiative or hustling, what do you I don't think? even want to be friends with you. I'm going to be real with you. Like, I, I honestly, um, I am where I am. Like, I surround myself with positive people and people who are hungry, who want more in life. Yeah. And when I like feel like people are like being deadbeats, I'm like, yo, what are we gonna do? Even as just a uh, a friend, like, what are we gonna do? Like, you can't just come kick it at my house. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? Every Sunday, I like, I want to come invited to your place too. You right. just can't come. You know, oh, you got a nice place. No, I want to go kick it at your place exactly. too. I worked hard for this. Exactly. You know, so I I want to surround myself with people who are hustling. That's right. And I will say this. You know, I'm one of the biggest hustlers in the game right now. I've been hustling since I was fucking like 16 years old, just like her. And I'm yeah, not yep. gonna say my name. No, you were younger. You were younger than that. Let me tell walking you, walking runways for when your mama. I was when I was in college, I was working three jobs. Hey, but listen up. Next week is my last Wednesday, so Don't make sure y'all join us. We're gonna have some special drinks up in here. Join us. Hey, we're gonna have a good time. Okay. <sighs> You're leaving me. Well, I'm not leaving. We talk all the time. Too, I know. So we stop. still talk all the time. But you're not going to be here next to me That's anymore. True. Hey, but listen, check us out. Yes, check us out on our social media handles. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our website, Fashion Victuals. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, Fashion Victuals Television. And yeah, we out here hustling too. Don't get it twisted now. A sister got bills to pay too. Again, thank you again for Stormy Maya calling in. And check out the new movie, Hustlers, and download her new EP, which is on all social, no, all music handles, right? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. All right, everybody, we'll check you out next Wednesday. Take care. Have a good evening. Enjoy Love. your hump Wednesday. Peace.